and it's Friday. Uh, we've got the car hooked up to the trailer. And we are going to Pete's today. Green Dreams, Florida. Looking forward to it. Neighbors out mowing their acreage. And I'm going to come out and check the plants. We got zero rain last night. I kind of expected that. So, uh, gonna take a look around, see if stuff needs water. Some things probably do, I'm sure. So I'll get that started. And we've only got a couple hours to leave, so I gotta get the drone ready, make sure all the batteries are all charged up, and we'll be headed out. Alright, we are on our way down. We're just now leaving the gas station. So I'm going to put this on a time lapse. And catch up with you when we get there. Alright, we're here. We just arrived. Gonna walk around a little bit, look for Pete, see where he's at. We'll see if we can find him. That's a big old pine cone. Yeah, it's green. It is green, because it just fell out of the tree. Alright. Come on in. Yeah. Isn't that cool? It looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, this was... This is what we can make our place look like. This takes a lot of work and money. This place was just large. Now it's a whole place. That's right. Pretty. Hey, Lou. good stuff. That's cranberry hibiscus. We have that, right? Roselle. These are moringa. These are some tomatoes. Pretty cool, huh? All kinds of stuff. All the stuff. What's this one? Look! What's that one? Paper yeah! Look. look at what? What am I supposed to look at? Follow me. Okay, I'll follow you. Whoa, look how big that is. Yeah, that's a banana. Look how high it's going up there. What? Speak. 
child? A tractor something. Oh, there you go. A tractor. Tractor. That's what we were looking at. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it put down some dirt. Yeah, so come on. Let, let's look at some plants while we wait for Pete. I don't think he's here Is right now. Is that Very good. But that's a spiral ginger. See, we have this one. See how it spirals. Look, there's a there's a um, flower of it over here. Come over here. Oh, there's one. Looky, looky. Isn't that pretty? So soft. Yeah. Look here. Oh, there was one that just fell out. Very cool, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what our ginger does. And then... Like the insulin spiral ginger. That's, that's the other one that we have. It's this darker one. See? Look at here, here's another one. Here's another. See these cones? Look at these ones. See these? Right here. Isn't that cool? Can smell it. Smell like anything? Ah, there's ants! I know, smell inside of there. They're not going to jump on you. Mmm, smells good. Yeah. Nice. The tomatoes. Tomatoes. That's correct. Yeah, lemons. Where? Right here. Oh, those are lemons. Lemon trees, yeah. Lemon trees. There's all kinds of good stuff. This is called a leopard plant or tractor seat because the, the uh, leaf looks like a tractor seat, an old style tractor seat. Yep. <laughs> Let's walk on these rocks. Over here. Yeah, you want to see over here first? Yeah. Look at the size of the banana this tree. Whoa, way up there. Yeah, that's like 14 feet tall. It is, yeah. Look. This is spinach. Are those spinach? Nope. Okinawan spinach. That's edible. There's a tree there that's, that just got chopped, and you can see that it's re sprouting. There's some other ginger out there. That looks like shampoo ginger right out there. The bigger ones out there. And then this is the other spinach that we have. We have this spinach, longevity spinach, and CISO spinach. What are those? Do you know what those are? Coconuts. Coconuts, yeah. There's water inside them. That's right. And that is katuk. Oh, yeah. This one right here. That's katuk, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, that one has water. Yeah. Look at all these. Yakon. It is, yes. There's some dragon fruits. Yeah. There's pineapples. Look at all the pineapples. These right here, pineapples. Mm, pineapples. pineapples. You remember we put some in the ground before. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Most of this stuff's edible, just like our stuff. We got butterflies. Look at the butterflies flying around. <laughs> Chill, bud. Oh, those are pretty flowers, huh? Yeah. But these are the leaves. Yeah. See what this is? Begonia. Begonia. Yeah. Pretty cool leaves, isn't it? Longevity spinach again. Uh, it's a mint. Uh, maybe maybe chocolate mint or something. I'm not sure. Or no, a catnip. 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 That's, cats go crazy for that stuff. Ah, uh, they just like the smell and they like playing with it. And they get all up in it. Miracle fruit. Exactly. <laughs> the star fruit trees. Yeah. Yeah. Sapote. Sapote. Yeah, Mamie Sapote. Maybe. Oh, Key West. Key West. It's the Key West variety. Is that? This one is chocolate mint. We're gonna have to get some of those. There were some people asking for that. And then, what do you think these ones are? We have these ones at our house. They're getting eaten up by caterpillars right now. You think you can find some caterpillars? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? What do you think? Let's see if you can find any. They probably clean them off anytime they see them. But as you can see, they eat a lot. Yeah. They do a lot of damage. Yeah. I don't see any right now. This, sign is this is the passion fruit vines. Yeah. That's what these are passion fruit. Yep, that way it doesn't fall over. Yep. <laughs> Look, there's some peppers. Peppers. See them? What's up, buddy? Okay. There's some more passion fruit. Look at this ginger real quick. Ooh, look. Before we go over there, look at that. Come here and look at it, Christian. I'm gonna check this out. Look at that thing. How oh, cool, you wanna smell it? No? All right, let's go see your thing. Yeah, there's peppers. Hold on, Christian wants to show us something. What is it? Ha <laughs> ha, peanut butter fruit. How cool is that? Yeah. We'll have to ask Pete if that would work in our climate, because I don't know if it would or not. What's the climate? Where we live. We are a little bit cooler in the winter than he is here. Just a little bit. So it might still work. You never know. There's katuk here. This is edible. Katuk? Yeah. It tastes kind of like your knaf. You want, want to try one, Christian? What do you think? Yeah, pretty good, huh? We have that at the house. We have one of them. I don't like it. No, you don't like it now? 
Miracle fruit. That's a jackfruit. So it's not for sale. Not for sale. There's sugar apples. There's more jackfruit. There's some small jackfruits right here. Yeah, those are $60 for the small ones. Cool. Really cool. Canna lilies. Okay. Pink Perfection Ginger. Shampoo Ginger hasn't come up yet. Oh, little bits. Yeah. Those are all cuttings of... I... It's some kind of hibiscus. I'm just not sure which one. Do you? Oh, yep. A little dinosaur down there. <laughs> down on the front of the, the trailer. Yeah, that's what we said. A lizard. Yep, it is these ones that make that have those really beautiful flowers. The ones that we saw over there. Pink perfection. There's arrowroot ginger. Edible canna lily. Another canna lily that makes some beautiful red flowers. We used to have that one. Yeah. <laughs> Look, come here. This is what it turns into. Oh, yeah. yeah. You smell it? Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. These are big. They are big. He's in there. Uh oh. Look at these ones. Even more ginger. See these flowers coming out? Mm -hmm. cool. I think that's Kiko's crump, I believe. I found Marco's spinach. Where? <gasps> you found it. That's Lago spinach. We got a lot of that, huh? Mm -hmm. Now can you go show me Kanaf? That's Kanaf, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know all about that one. Uh oh. Somebody and might steal one. And elderberry. Yeah, elderberry. We have that one at home. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, they're called Everglades? Yeah. Right yep. Here. There they are. Yeah. Those are my first names in my first letters in your name, yeah. Oh, Boniato. A lot of jabos here, jaboticabas. They are Brazilian tree grapes. They are very tasty. There's another really beautiful ginger. All kinds. There's a lot of gnats out here though, huh? They like they like whenever they're not in the sun. He don't know where he's going. He's going all over the place. He doesn't know where he's going, but he's gonna win the race. 
More Jabos. They are everywhere. That is a variegated Katuk. Absolutely beautiful. Man. The bananas just look fantastic right now. Uh, the CISO spinach is filling in. The cranberry hibiscus. Okay, what? They're way over there. Over here? No, over here. There's Beautyberry. Beauty yeah, look at these ones. What does this look like? Um, what does it look like? Um, Feel it. But it looks kind of like the toilet paper plant, huh? Feels a little bit like it? Smell a little bit like it? Uh -uh. No? A little bit different? I found That's an oregano. That's a variegated oregano. I found Oh, there it is. There they are. Right there. Don't touch. It can burn you just touching it. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to bite it. You don't want to touch your finger. No, don't. <laughs> so you think it, it would be a good idea to put that in your mouth right now? Oh, don't touch your eyes. Nothing. You got to be very careful with that. <laughs> got to be really careful with that. Look, see all the little bitty peppers? And what are these ones? Let's sound it out. Mm. Ma. Ma. Uh. And we probably have those. Mm. Uh. Yeah. So now say it fast. Okay. What do you think? Uh. Moringa? <laughs> Very good. Hello. Oh, that sounds good. Peace lily. Peace lily. That's what those are. Peace lily. This is variegated Suriname spinach. Look at those beautiful flowers. Aren't they pretty? See, here's, here it is, Ev, right here. Smell it. Touch okay. it, touch it. Give it a little bit of the, yeah, and now smell your fingers. Like that smell? Huh? No, I don't. No, you don't? <laughs> this is all spinach? Hmm? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And speaking of pounding dirt, hey, Bubba, look at this guy. How's it going, man? Good to see you, sir. Hey, welcome. You too. How are you? Good. You find any butterflies or bees while you're here? Definitely. Or just plants? Lots of butterflies. Lots of butterflies. And dragonflies. Yeah. Right? I got dragonflies? And what? lizards. Oh man. All kinds of good stuff. So you guys got a trailer. You're ready to haul some plants, Heck huh? Yeah. They came ready. Yeah. You living on a farm now? Well, maybe. A little bit. Got some animals? <laughs> We're out near a lot of farms, right? Yeah, a lot of farms in the area. <laughs> yeah. We don't have any animals. Not any not, not chickens, nothing? We did. Okay. Oh, and then oh. the predators got to them, and yep, the, coyotes <laughs> the hawks. It can be a little difficult living out in the middle of the country. That's yeah. The, that's the only issue with the rural areas. Well, and that's the thing with the hawks and stuff. I mean, you can't have them free range. Yeah. It's impossible. You know, they literally just will sit right there and doop, just jump right on yeah. them. So I had to build a giant cage. Put a in. Where right. Are you? Oh, you got more of them here. How many kids you got? Just two. Okay. He's he's out here somewhere. 
somebody over there. Oh, I see a head. Yeah. There he is. Cool. Yeah. yeah, so welcome to the shade nursery. Yeah. This is where you can get some... It's uh, so much more full than the last time I was here. Some salvation compared to the other side. Yeah, well, last time it, you just got this down. Oh, so there was nothing here. Yeah, there was nothing. Yeah. You were just getting plants in around the oaks. I mean, it was just going in. And now, this, the size of these freaking bananas. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some... <laughs> Hopefully. The gingers are looking fantastic. The gingers look good, yeah. The Grumichama looks good. The, the Jumbo Habitabas could be doing better. I'm a little disappointed with those. Yeah. Um, you'd think under the oaks they'd be a little happier, but that is a red variety. I think the Sauber does better, but yeah, we're finally getting some big leaves on the bananas. Mm-hmm. And this is pretty much turned into Jabo land over here in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I see that. I can't really take credit for They're this. They're everywhere. Down here, the, uh, the girls in the nursery have pretty much done most of this. Right. I'm very lucky to have an awesome team. Oh, <laughs> heck yeah. Oh, look at this. I see some dry plants. So, yeah, we've been in the middle of a drought, so it's been pretty hard right now to keep stuff watered. That's for sure. I'm sure you're dealing with it up there, too. Big right time. Now. Big it's, time. Seems like the East Coast is getting water, and we're not. So. And the South is underwater, yeah. and we are dying. <laughs> Last year was rough for us, too, so this is two years in a row. Yeah. Oh, hey, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Being shy. Are you chasing butterflies? <laughs> you guys check out my little bench. Sit down right here there. And enjoy the garden. Isn't that cool? Yeah, we got a bench. We got some tables. We got butterflies. All kinds of good stuff. Probably got some stuff you could eat. Some yep. flowers. Some leaves. Yeah. Hmm? Like, what's your favorite? Tell them your favorite. Oh, you have a favorite. Canaf. Oh. Mm -hmm. You like that, huh? Yeah. The cranberry hibiscus is kind of similar. You yeah. Know, it's got a little bit more tang to it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, we've got both, but she likes the canaf better because it's a little more mild. Does she like the katuk? Nope. Nope, she doesn't like the katuk. I said, oh. it's pretty close. This is my backup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one's better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's Under lock and key. I ordered from Brazil. The one that broke was one of those Amazon ones I ordered. Uh, so. Yeah. This looks good. <laughs> That's why I ordered those. They're a little more heavy. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, you know, you got to give that thing a little. <laughs> yeah. 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 Coconuts, yeah. you know, you got to have cold coconuts for people when they come out. Coconuts. They, uh, a day to buy plants and they're out there in the sun dying. So, yeah, man. Um, unfortunately, we can't really grow coconuts here. I'm similar to you. You know, I'm in this uh, subtropical kind of temperate climate, you know, right. where, you know, we kind of grow the tropicals, but we get these 12 nights a year that kind of kill everything. Sometimes 16 nights a year. You know, right. Just, or just two. Or, two, <laughs> or none. You have one right. Or two. zero. Right. Yeah. yeah. Last year was very, very mild. You know, yeah. Kinda, if we had, if we kept having years like last year, I'd grow mangoes. Right. You know, uh, but then the year before, we had the five days around Christmas that just wiped everything. everything out before. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, it's just, it's difficult. That was a tough one, too, because everything recovered, you know, and then it was like we got another frost. It felt like late February or early March, and it uh -huh. hit them again. Yeah, it was like March 19th or something crazy. It was like yeah. way late. So it slowed things down a little bit. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. But, yeah, this is the spot. It's definitely come a long way. I think you came out and helped with the weed mat, right? I came right at the end. We were uh, digging a trench. Digging a trench. To put in the electrical for this electric one. Yep. The little barn. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, big and now we got the air conditioner going in there. Yeah. He was he was finishing up the uh, drywall and stuff. Drywall's done. Flooring's done. Yeah, we got a nice little farm office. You know, the goal is to get a, you know, that's going to That be wasn't there. even there, I don't think. That's a potting education building. Yeah, love it. Um, and I want to put a little, you know, Kind of like a break room for the girls in the corner over there. Mm -hmm. Maybe in another bathroom. And then we're going to do a big shade house in that whole field. So that's been my focus and goal here. You know, originally I was going to do a greenhouse. Um, kind of glad you got rid of your greenhouses. <laughs> uh, right? Because you know, we really don't need greenhouses here. You know, it's, uh, it's... Well, it had been a while and I hadn't heard from you. And so I just, I thought like, man, eh, maybe he just doesn't want them anymore. I didn't even think I should probably just ask him if he still <laughs> I, I just didn't even think about it. And... It was one of those things, you know, when you're not ready for it, you don't want to get stuck sitting on it. And right. I wasn't ready, you know, and by the time I was ready, you know, I went down to Homestead, and, you know, you look at what they're using down there, and they, they've shifted away from greenhouses to shade houses on everything. Yeah. Um, you know, and they're put up with the bigger poles. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're They're kind of hurricane-proof. Right. Um, so, you know, the, and we, we don't need the heat. You know, unless I'm trying to push the edge or something like that. We right. need these things for propagation, for putting grafted trees. Absolutely. Kind of stuff. So, hey. Hey, how you doing? Welcome hey. back. 
Yeah. <laughs> Where's the other one? There he is. Yeah, so we could use some more rain. I'm t everybody I'm talking to this week's been getting 12, 10 inches of rain. I'm like, yeah, we got two. Yeah. Um, yeah, like last night, they said it was supposed to come at 4 o'clock and be all the way till 2 in the morning. And it came at 7.15 and lasted till 8.15 and was spotty. Yeah. You know, it was like, oh, come on. Yeah. We got maybe a half an hour of descent. And so I, I went out there and like, Didn't do nothing. Yeah. You're like, come on. Yeah. It's Our killing us. A lot better after that two inches of rain, but it's already gonna get dry again. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah. So it's cool to see the little kids walked out here in Jabo land. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's the bad part. This is putting out some flowers. This mm -hmm. is doing really good here. Yeah, ours are just starting to flower out right now. The Canaf had a nice little early flower. It did. Yeah. So I'm starting to collect their seeds There's right now. Rescue Jabos that get <laughs> on the edge. Right. Hey, I see you over there. <laughs> Hello! But yeah, big difference in the size of the gall and gall since it was planted. A lot of things have grown well here. Big time. Yeah, even the bamboo's taking off like crazy around the edge. Yeah, you had bamboo. just started to getting those in. Yeah, those are all cuttings, you know. Um, right. Normally I buy them and I wanted to try something a little bit more cost efficient here. And you had a variety in particular. I think I have five on this break, but this one right here, the graceful, is my most popular. All right. Yeah, it's a, it's a very labor intensive job. You know, it could take us. Uh, four or five people three days to do you know 200 cuttings you know yeah. um, just because of the way we have to dig it up and separate it with the sawzall yeah exactly it sawzall all the crap out of it but our goal is to do you know more and more and more you know we're still buying a lot of our grafted trees in right um, right but this year we've set up you know 20,000 rootstock I believe nice you know between mulberries um, star fruit loquats Suriname cherries and avocados nice to graft you know, graft ourselves here in the house. Heck yeah. So that's gonna that's gonna be really exciting, you know. Um, the goal would be every year we buy less and less from these other um, you know, wholesalers. For one, you know, they don't do it organically and for two it's very, very, very difficult to get stuff. You know, mm -hmm. Trying to get low plots now. Woof. Okay, be, Hey, right uh, for, six, for six months. Not a flower, not a flower, not a flower. I think the like longevity spinach would do good. Uh, we do the Lago spinach. I've been selling it only because of the the spikes, the flowers. It's pretty. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, that makes people go crazy. Yeah. A purple one. Where's ours? Right here. You just got one little baby tray over here. It's getting down there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we, we move it this? often in the online store. That's an, unfortunately a non-native salvia. It's a fancy variety. Mm. Um, Lots of roselle, moringa, pigeon pea, you know. Yeah, I definitely want to take some moringas. And some Everglades tomatoes. I've sold all my Everglades tomatoes. People have been buying those like crazy because they're the only thing producing. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, this is the native salvia. Yeah. Um, native milkweed. Yeah. Native weed. Definitely want to get a bunch of this stuff. The native necklace pod, this is a nitrogen fixer. Pretty sure I've seen this in Ocala, you know, which is pretty similar to you. Mm-hmm. Um, makes a nice yellow flower, like the bees are all over it. Heck yeah. Not too many native nitrogen fixers, you know, obviously we got the... Uh, right. Wax myrtle, uh, the erythrina, the coral bean is also a nitrogen fixer. We have a lot of peanut up there. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is an old hardy. But this is probably my new favorite native for attracting beneficial and predatory insects. Really? Oh, it goes nuts, yeah. This is that native tea bush and um, gets completely covered. Just won't survive up there. No. Boo. I'll be honest with you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, Even that's that's what I like. It's probably going to you know, freeze back to the roots. Right, for um, sure. Happens to but it will place. survive. Yeah. I know that. That That's what my first couple of years have been, is seeing what will survive and what won't. Yeah. You know? Yep, I've thrown everything in the ground. I don't cover a single thing when it gets cold, and I go, <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll give them some water the day before cold comes, you know, something like that. They'll and, thrive on neglect. Yeah, but if you can survive, we're cool. If not, see ya. Out with that one. In with the Salvia. One. Very nice. Yeah, or tropical sage. Yeah, I got some tropical sage, yeah. some aster, some black-eyed Susan, some mm -hmm. Gloria, which 
They just cut back, so it gets oh. a little leggy here. Yeah, this one's... The native reporter weed yeah. should grow up by you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nice edible flower. We'll get some of those, too. If you can find the flower, you know. Uh-huh. A lot of natives on this table, too. You know, the native viburnum. We have the native privet. We have the native pink and stopper. Um, that one's really cool. Um, a couple different native flowers. Cookies. Cocoa plum. This one's cold already. Cookies. Cookies? You think you thought you heard cookies? I, I really like <laughs> horse, horse tail reed. Oh, that's beautiful. This stuff's cool. Isn't that cool, Evelyn? I don't know why it took me so long <laughs> to find this stuff, but we got it. Isn't that neat? Feels cool. Looks like skeleton fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the end of it. Isn't that cool? We need a misting station, huh? That kind of looks like a little... Yeah. Pine it does. And look, see mints, ginger mint, and lemon balm. <laughs> smell that one. Yeah, does it? What about what about this one? Smell this one. Tomato. Smell this one. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to come pack. You're ready to come pack. <laughs> Too funny. Oh. oh, I wish I had more of this around. What's that? That's a cool one. You want to touch it? If you touch it, watch, watch. Yeah. It'll move. We have that one, don't we? That's a sensitive plant. You can take your hand and go across the top and it'll all go. Isn't that cool? See, those are the flowers. Like that. Little powder puffs. Yeah, definitely makes a beautiful alien looking. Crazy. Sunshine mimosa. Crazy flower, yeah. Yeah, lots of seeds too if you let them. They seed really nice. I've got a lot of them, and they actually produce great from seed. I've had a hard time. Uh, I bought seed and had a hard time getting it growing up. What we like to do is like when you get a run. When you like make this, it, when you produce it yourself and go out and get the yeah. seed, it works a lot better. Like see this one I just pulled out of the pot that was circling. Yeah. If you put this in another pot right next to it and just bury it. Yeah. In two weeks you can cut it loose and then let it circle and just keep doing the same thing. You know. Right. If you have time. Right, that's what I, so I have mine in a 10 by 20 tray. These ones actually. And it just starts spreading out, oh, really? and then it goes and digs in, and yep. Yeah, these Do the same thing. <laughs> typically even smell. Mm. Not fully rooted yet. They, they'll get like a urea smell, like a. Oh, really? From, because they're such a strong nitrogen fixer, you know. Nice. Once they really root down. Yeah. Yeah, I wish we could figure out a way to get perennial peanut. As a seed, you know, like I have looked everywhere. Some places sell it, but it's not like the legit one. It That's what I mean. You yeah, can't get the anything. legit thing. Like no. I, the only one I found was a website, and they were like, "Yeah, we've got it." Blah blah blah. And they're now defunct, and you know, it's three years old. Now I'm like, golly, <laughs> it's crazy. You just can't find it. Just like can't find it. Yeah, they're beautiful. I like the Elliot's love grass. It has a bluish color. Yeah, she's the one that likes the plants the most. She uh, she can walk around and name all the stuff that we have, you know. Elderberry and mulberry and shampoo ginger. And, you know, she oh, goes really? around and names you're, it you're all. You're the guide? You'll give me the tour when I come up? Yeah. Because that's what I want. A toilet paper plant. Oh, you have a toilet paper plant? Right. Yeah. Have you ever tried it? Yeah. No? Yes. Are, are you, uh oh, you waiting for the next toilet paper shortage? <laughs> Got the chickens. And a goose, look. Yeah. Now don't touch the fence, okay? That's good. Yeah, that's a guard goose. Isn't that cool? He guards the chickens and makes sure that they're okay. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you want to... 
<laughs> Wanna show me what's up? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? She is guarding the chickens, right? Making sure that they're okay. Oh, we got figs. See figs and avocados. Yeah, loquat, big loquat, olive. That chicken does like. Mm hmm. Figs. Look at the figs. See? There's figs all over. <laughs> Lots of figs. And avocados. That's what these are. These are all avocados. And these are all figs. Yeah. Go see the bananas. Bananas and bamboo. Are they? Oh, yeah. Well, you're walking on the black with black shoes. <laughs> There's all the bananas. A bunch of bananas. Bamboo. 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 <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at these, Evelyn. There's like poop in here. That smell good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Except for the poop smell? Yeah, I poop smell. I see guava. Look at all the guavas. So cool. Hello. Smells real bad here. Uh-huh. They might have bit maybe they put poop in there. Yes, they did. In the plants. Yeah, they did. <laughs> what you got? Look at you. You got a special surprise. Yeah, we have to go over here. They're not gonna eat out of your hand. Chicken, chickens don't eat out of your hand. Most of them don't anyway. They're just chilling. They're looking at it. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go look at the... To look at the rest of the plants real quick. The mulberries. You can see some mulberries. There's a couple of them on there. Isn't that cool? Peppers are spicy, yes. There are no peppers around here. Persimmon. Go this way. I'm the leader. You are? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Vitex. It's called Vitex. It's Dwarf Vitex. It's beautiful. The chest tree. 
And look at these ones, Evelyn. Look at those beauties. What do you think? You like it? Butterfly bush. That's what it's called, the butterfly bush. Huh? Isn't that cool? Kiko's Crump. Chief Kubo's Pride. Aren't those cool? Don't stop. Stop. Only if I stop. Only if you stop. Pineapple Guava. Necklace Pod. Those are cool, huh? Pretty ones. Sweet almonds. Oh, look at this one. There's butterfly pea. We'll have to get some butterfly pea for sure. Look at this one, Evelyn. They smell bad. They smell bad. Princess flower is what that's called. No. Yeah. I don't know because maybe princesses like it. There's some more figs. Woo! It is hot. Remember, you can go in the car anytime you want. Some grapes. Babe, I'm not going to buy a coconut. It's hot, hot, hot. Oh, you the car. Cherry of the Rio Grande. And plus, Dad has spent a lot of money from the, from the first day at, at the Teep yep. Blim Flea Market. That's for sure. You want to go in the car, Evelyn? Yeah. You want to go in the car? Mm -hmm. All right, both of you go together. Watch for watch for cars, okay? Be careful. <sighs> all right we are on our way out that was a great trip we got lots of plants and we got lots of water it is 5 p.m we are on our way home yeah unfortunately we couldn't put the drone up in the air yeah, it, it wouldn't let us section all set up nice all right so i'll put the iron lamps on and we'll get home